Greetings and welcome to SmartWatchTicks.com. It seems that we just finished Christmas and now we have to look forward to Valentine's Day. I know, it's a while away, but because of shipping delays, we need to talk about these now. Got two new 2022 products, the Z-Blaze Lily and the Rogbid Magic Women's Smartwatch. Let's talk about the magic. It's Got a nice box, a gift for an elegant lady, it says on the front. And when you open it up, there it is in beautiful gold. What are we talking about? We're talking about um, a really sweet IP68 women's fashion watch. Now remember, when we get into this category, we're looking more at fashion than we are at function. Not that function isn't there, but it's elegance. You know, go shopping for a lady's bag sometime and you'll see what I mean. Um, AliExpress hosts the Rogbid official store. And this watch actually is coming to us directly from AliExpress. Yeah, they let me pick out any watch I wanted from any store I wanted and... This is the one I chose because we don't get many ladies watches here. And um, guys, this is the time. Time to start looking. And ladies, if you're looking for a watch for Valentine's for your guy, wow. Have fun. SmartwatchTicks.com. Uh, go to the different playlists on the kind of thing that you might be interested in. Sports, fitness, Android, you name it. And just look through all the thumbnails there. We've got quick reviews on all kinds of watches. Ladies' watches, not so much. But we're talking about this one today. Let's take a look at the specs on it real quick. And we'll continue unboxing it. Like I said, it's an IPS 68, which means relatively waterproof. You should be able to splash some water on it and not have too much of a problem. It's got the typical stuff, a step count, fitness tracker, sleep tracker, message reminder, all of that stuff. Um, you've got no camera on here, variety of languages, uh, life waterproof, they call it. That's kind of a generic term. 240 by 240 screen, 1.09 inch, so it'll look nice on a smaller wrist and a full touch screen. Here we go. Let's dive in. Um, we can take this out and grab the watch itself. It's got one of these clis, uh, clamp, clasp, clasp, that's the magic word, clasp uh, type uh, connections. Now these are really easy to adjust. You just need to flip up this little thing here. You can get a little screwdriver or something and pry that up a little bit and then you can slide this back and forth. You see the ridges on here? You, it, it'll go from one to another, lock it into where the ridge is, push that down, put it back on your arm and try it again. I haven't even touched it. It's right out of the box so let's see about Mr. Ticks if it'll fit. Whoa, whoa, it's tight. I'm just going to hook it. No, I'm not. Ugh. Okay, I did. You hook it and you close it. Obviously, I need to open it up a little bit, but there it is on, and we'll turn the whole thing on in just a second. Once we show you in the box, you also have, hmm, there's a little tool. I'm not sure. Usually, that's to eject a SIM card, but we don't have a SIM on this one. You have a little two-pin magnetic connector, USB to charge it, and here we go. Oh, you know what? We got to charge it up, don't we, and get it ready before uh, before we actually turn it on for the review. Look at that! It's got a silver backing and gold body. <laughs> Very elegant. Okay, I'll be back once it's charged up. Oh yeah, the manual. Let's go through that. It's a user's manual in English. Uh, we page through the manuals on all of our reviews because oftentimes you won't find them anywhere um, on the web or otherwise. They're too small and too few to make uh, PDFs of them. So we've got it here. If you have any questions or problems, come back and you can uh, check it out right here by freeze framing. We've got the FFIT app. There's the download QR code, but again, we always recommend you go to the Google Play Store and download it from there because it's gone through um, the security check by Google. And uh, we have the link to get to that location in our show notes too. So you can just click on the link and head over if you want to. Warranty certificate, and then the book has uh, other languages as well. Simple press on the side button, and boom, we are up with really nice watch faces here. There aren't a lot of them, and I don't see others you can download from the app, but the ones that are on board are animated and fun. Isn't that sweet? Uh, 
What else can I tell you? Well, let's let's dive into it. When you slide down, you get a little drawer here that you got uh, your overall settings where you can change the screen brightness. It's on the lowest setting right now. That's green. And as I brighten it up, you see it starts to get like almost washed out. Easy to see outdoors. I keep it on the lowest one actually. Get a little bit longer battery life that way. QR code you saw there. That's for scanning um, to download the... Uh, F Fit Tethering app, which we already have talked about. Um, there's an About the Watch, which tells you its name is actually a KW10 Pro. That's what it's known as. There's the other information. You can restart it and you can shut down. So not a lot in the settings, but it's there. You got a Do Not Disturb feature. You can toggle on and off. And we did look at the brightness already. So here's a watch face. We'll show you the others in a moment. It should be in the twist your wrist to see the time. Let's me slide up and get into the overall apps. We'll come back to that after I show you. We have just a few cards in here. You've got your step count uh, information. You go into heart rate with green diodes on the back. It'll give you uh, your pulse. And then you've got last night's sleep time. And that's it. A lot of times the ladies' watches are really, really basic and simple. Just what you basically need. You go to the left. You get information pushed from your watch if there is any. And that's all. So limited cards that you can go back and forth. Now we get into the actual uh, app drawer. There's our step count. We already saw that. There's our heart rate. We already saw that. This is blood pressure. Now, I'm not running through it and letting it do all of that stuff because I've already done it, and I'll show you some results on the app. And this is blood oxygen. And uh, notice it's using the red diode technology, which is better accuracy for blood oxygen readings. Those are all of your biometrics. Come down. You got your messages pushed from your phone. This is... Uh, your different, these are, excuse me, right, uh, English here. These are different activities that you can do, and it's going to measure your uh, heart rate, distance traveled against time, and you get some other things in here as well, depending on which uh, activity you're using. Um, this is, looks like it's a running, then you've got a treadmill indoors, uh, cycling. There's no GPS in this. No, that's not scuba diving. I'm not sure what that is. Hiking, I think. That's a backpack. And it loops around again to basic walking. So you have a few different uh, activities that you can do. Last night's sleep time. Find your phone. Then you've got the QR code again. Here's the onboard music player. And you can play whatever you want. I was listening to the Wall Street Journal on the phone earlier. No speaker in here, so it's not going to play through here. It'll play through the phone. Then you've got a timer which is just a basic simple timer and it locks the screen you can't do oh maybe you can oh i didn't know you could swipe out of it all right you got to be careful when you leave it it stops so it's not a continuous running in the background kind and there's no lap time on it so pretty simple timer and then there's settings which we already looked at and that's everything there so watch faces I could show you through the app, but let's do it through here. This is a really nice gold digital one that uh, was there. Um, because they're animated, I'm going to take a moment to let you take a look at them. And I think, honestly, a lot of the ladies that are not heavily technical, maybe the ones that are as well, would appreciate some of these fun playful watch faces to be able to wear. Again, it's about fashion, so you're going to see some of a more of a fashion statement in this watch um, than you would be in a high-end Android type thing with a lot of technical stuff going on in there and a multitude of apps. So on, we showed you that earlier, but now I've adjusted it to make it a little easier. I just clip it on that bottom one. There you go. Look how look how it goes well with my gold aura ring. I guess some of you guys have noticed I've got the original one and this is the new Aura 3. Yeah, for you subscribers, a little later on, we're going to do a comparison of the data between these. That's why you always see them on me. And there we go. Let's tell you a little bit more about this. The tethering app is the F-Fit. 
Okay, we've done, we've done a lot of reviews of that one. So I'm basically going to show you the data on the cards in here. And if you want more information and detail on the nuances of the app and the setup and everything, uh, I'll have a links to the other videos of other watches we've done that tether to this one. So you got a step card area, step count card area, and you can see every hour how much you uh, did and uh, what percentage of your moving target you've completed. And you can, of course, sort this by day. There's motion data. If you do any activities in exercising, that data will show up here. But again, it's not um, tied to GPS and there's no GPS or, or speaker in the watch. You've got uh, heart rate and this is a continuous heart rate reading here. It shows you your maximum and your minimum and it supposedly will calculate your quiet HR, which is your resting heart rate, and show you uh, heart rate zone intervals. Haven't seen that work. That might just be information only. Minimum might be considered your quiet heart rate. Um, and we can go in here, there we go, and we can slide around. And what's cool is it shows you the time and the, the value uh, in a little crosshairs and gives it to you in a number. So a bit more sophisticated than most on this. Here's our heart rate and uh, 129 over 83 was a reading that I did. I can hit start measuring and you see the watch now will flip over into um, the blood pressure mode and you're supposed to keep still. It comes up and it's giving you a number and it's going to take you until um, the seconds count down and fine tune it so that it can adjust it just right for you. This app, as you go into more detail, you have a way of setting up what your typical baseline cuff measurement is. And this will measure the deviation from your standard cuff reading. Now, I've been exercising somewhat outside and I've got a bit of a higher... Uh, blood pressure, which is uh, definitely understandable. And of course, you get a heart rate with that as well. So we got a couple of measurements in there. That's that one. Then here's last night's sleep time, and you can expand it to see uh, deep sleep, light sleep, and awake time. Uh, no REM sleep in this one. It's not that sophisticated. It shows you what percentage of your total target sleep time that you met and it's not giving you a sleep score. Some of the watches and apps will give you an overall score and then you just kind of go by that. This one will just kind of give you a breakdown of how your sleep went, but it does give you all of that information. And ladies, this is your physiological um, information. You put in the beginning uh, date of your period, how long it typically is, and yeah, being a family channel, we're not going to go into a lot of detail, but those of you who understand these circles on the calendar and the green and the orange and the red will be happy that you've got that information to go by. It also, I believe, will let you know on the watch um, at a particular time on a particular day about what... Uh, where you are and you can sort all these cards any which way you want then you got your device information and again it's just basic stuff continuous heart rate continuous blood oxygen notice that you can do continuous blood oxygen which is kind of rare and i don't think i showed you that on the blood oxygen one when you go in here you're getting a chart that's showing you your blood oxygen and your measurement record is right here and it looks like it's doing it two times every 10 minutes. So it can kind of double check on that. So uh, yeah, that's that's kind of sophisticated too. I hadn't seen that level of detail, but again, part of the app, part of the integration with the watch, I digress. You can, you can actually tie this with Google Fit if you want to and a few other things. There's more settings for units, uh, resetting everything. Care is for pairing up with other friends, and mine is where you put in your personal information and such. So all of that is available in the FFIT app. All right, that's it for today. Let's tell you one more time. This is a Rogbit product, and you can pick it up through AliExpress's official Rogbit store. I got links in the show notes for you directly to this watch and to their store so that you can look over their other products as well. And a big shout out to AliExpress company itself that basically arranged this whole thing to be sent here for review for you guys. It's a new affiliate connection we've got going on, and hopefully we'll see um, some more watches coming from a variety of different vendors that uh, offer their wear through AliExpress. All right, gang, that's it for today, and we'll see you again soon.